Well, it's very important that more people use uh, public transport in order to get a more sustainable uh, city and region. Uh, it's both important for environmental reasons, but also for congestion and space reasons. On January 1st, 2013, the city of Gothenburg instated a congestion charge system for all domestic vehicles that enter the city during normal working hours and weekdays. The money from the system is used to fund alternative means of transportation and to stimulate the growth of the entire region. Congestion is, is not good for a city like Göteborg. We need better uh, transportation in order to have more people living in the central areas of Göteborg and then we have to be more careful and to to increase the number of people walking and biking and taking public transport and then we have to improve the the possibilities to do that and then we need money for the infrastructure and also we need a push for people to get out of their cars actually and to test the new systems that we build up with the money from the congestion charging so it, it's a circle it works together this actually the money from the congestion charge system will help finance a new grand project called the west swedish agreement building a better safer and more environmentally sound infrastructure. The goal of the West uh, Swedish Agreement is to uh, improve the environment and uh, increase the uh, uh, labour market and uh, to get more accessibility to the city by making it easier for people to commute. Uh, we create a more livable city uh, by these uh, different kind of projects. And uh, we also make it easier to find new jobs in the labour market. To fulfil their part of the agreement, public transport companies such as Vestrafik have had to invest in better and more frequent train and bus services for the entire region. We have uh, tripled the amount of bus lanes. Uh, we have uh, and uh, continue building a lot of parking spaces, both for for cars and and, and bikes to park and ride. And we have uh, introduced a new commuter line uh, with new trains. We have bought 34 new trains, and we have increased the service. We have uh, introduced new express buses and increased the service with 15%. It's the start of the changing travel habit project for Göteborg that will last I think for 10-15 years from now. You know.